and then start here. Start here again of inhaling. So just work on your breath right now for a minute. Just inhaling and exhaling. And remember, the whole time you're keeping that skeleton lifted, shoulders back. Shoulder blades together as you're still expanding. It's, when you inhale, let the air spiral. Let it start here in the diaphragm area, but let it spiral around. Let it spiral. So you just feel yourself completely up like a balloon all the way around. And then exhale slowly. Let it come down. Let it collapse and pull in. Then start from this point again of inhaling. Just, just doing like a four count, not making it long, and exhaling. But when you're at home on your time, on your time, make them longer. Do eight counts, do 10 counts, 15 counts for each one. Now we're going to take movement with that. I'm just going to start with a simple movement for your hands are going to make just like you're rotating a wheel. We're going to inhale and we're going to exhale. Pull in. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows back. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to reverse it. Bring it forward. Inhale. Expand. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, and all the action to be happening here, there should be no raising the shoulders up and down, just here, See, nothing's happening in the shoulders, not outside, but say inside, making room for these organs, like expanding and exhaling. And then, of course, you're getting more energy, more oxygen, and letting all that waste out when you exhale, letting that carbon dioxide out. Let's take a little twist again, which is good for elimination. Put the left hand across, the right hand in the back of the seat, and then pull up those vertebrae again. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale and twist at the waistline from the pubic bone up into the navel. Right, this is down almost into the navel. Then inhale, come back center, and then exhale and change. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Just the upper torso. But you are wringing out your intestines. That's what I'm trying to make an issue of. And that the only way you can really do that is by doing different type of twists. I'm just doing this particular one. But every time you twist, you get that opens you up for that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to center. One more time. Exhale, change. Inhale, pull up, separate the upper torso from the lower torso. Exhale. And then inhale, come back to center and relax. Let's bring the arms down, tension in the shoulders. Let's lift those shoulders all the way up on the inhale. Inhale. And then exhale them down. Keep that chest up. Keep the collarbone open, the shoulders back. Just pull it. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Relax that and let's bring the legs out. And this is just moving the joints with circulation, flexing and extending your feet, flexion of the knee, bending the knees and stretching the knees. Don't push them down, just stretch them out. It's moving from here. But again, this is the lower torso, keeping the upper torso still and pulled up. Pull up as you move in the legs. And then slide the foot in and pull up. Slide the foot in, let the muscles help you pull up. Bring the leg back in. Let's
Let's flexingly stand for circulation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. Lift and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's make a little rotation. So one, two, three, four. Reverse it. Two, three, four. And this is good if you have problems with your knees. One, two, three, four. Something you should do two or three times a day. Let's say if you're sitting for a long period of time, you should just do that. It's going to the hip socket unless it's raised the leg up and down. But let's keep the foot flexed. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. And that makes you have to work those lower abdominal muscles and that lower back. And lumbar. Now let's go into the hip socket and rotate that and circle in one, two, three, four. Flex your feet, reverse it. Two, three, four, down. Left hand one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Now squeeze the inner thighs together, cross them. We call this Charleston a little bit, and then go. Open in the groin area and go in the sides of your feet. Keep the upper torso pulled up. You turn the palms up so you lift the chest and shoulders back. Hold this form and just do the bottom right. Isolate. Inhale, squeeze the adductors. Exhale, release them and let them relax. So if you pay attention, every time I'm doing something flexible that's dealing with flexibility, I do nothing but let go and allow my body to stretch. Because again, this is how long can you be in this position? You put your feet together like this and you're sitting on the floor up against the wall or something and just holding this position, you automatically are going to open up in the groin area. That's, that's just going to happen. You don't have to do anything but just sit there and breathe and relax. No tension involved. Okay. And let's bring our legs back parallel. Okay, we warmed it up a little bit, so let's lift the leg up and reach it out to the side and down. Keep the upper torso facing front. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more set. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to work on learning how to fold our body. And we always start to the back of the neck, putting the chin in the chest. Allow the body to reach forward and down and fold. So now I'm starting here in my upper back, stretching those vertebrae, but I'm really stretching all the way. You should be able to feel the pull in that lower back. That's your exhale. Now you need energy to get up. So you lift your chin, lift your chest, inhale. Now I'm pulling from the lower back and pulling myself back up straight in body alignment. My shoulders in line with my hips. My chin pushing back. I can feel the back of my vertebrae stretching. Then I'm ready to start again. Four counts. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale up through your nostrils. Three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, and arching up. Cool, pulling out of that lower torso. One more time, exhale. One, three, four, press down in your heels. And pulling up, right. Pulling up in that straight line. Our straight line, if you want to stand up, we call the mountain pole. And the mountain pose uh, in the Sanskrit name is Tanasana, to standing tall like a mountain. Now we're going to reverse it. We're going to stretch the spine out, lift the chin up, just to stretch that neckline. Four counts, just reaching out. And then exhale. That was this, I'm sorry. And that's our exhale. And then drop and roll up, inhale. Just roll the body up. Three. Four and exhale, like blow out the candle. Drop, inhale through the nostrils. 
exhale on your side. Let go. Inhale and pull up. Now the next one we're going to do is the hinge. And that's where the back is, has no head, does not move. The back stays straight as possible. And you just hinge forward and come back up. So the hinge is at that waistline, right? It's like our elbows and our knees, our hinge positions, joints. And so it's the same thing. Only thing I want you to do is when you hinge and go forward, I want you to just stretch your arms back a little bit so that you don't bring your shoulders forward. Keep that chest up and the shoulders back and keep the head just in the body alignment. Then when you inhale up, stretch your arms down. Okay? Here you are, the arms are stretched down. You are inhaling. And then exhale, pull the pubic bone up in the navel. Inhale, stretch down and lift that chest up. Exhale, inhale, and pull back up. Now we're really going to stretch this area. This time when we exhale, we're going to go from here. And then when we inhale, we're going to sweep those arms up from here. All of this, our side obliques, our armpits, and we're going to use these triceps. We're going to try to keep that connection of the upper arm and the forearm straight. And then exhale, keep them straight and keep them pulled in, and bring them straight down by your side. Everything is a four count. So inhale the spine up first. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, sweep, inhale, up. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale the arms down. Okay. So all your movements, I'll say them over again. They should be done with the breath. Here we go to the goal pose position. Pulling the shoulder blades together, the inhale, you're going to add the head. You're going to stretch the chin. And then you're going to exhale, bring the chin in your chest and bring the elbows together if you can. It doesn't matter. Open up the shoulder blades though. And pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Inhale, expand. Exhale and pull in. Pubic bone up in the navel, put a wet to the down, hold up into the navel. Open up those shoulder blades. Last time, inhale, pull the shoulder blades together. Stretch your chin, stretch that neckline. Exhale, stretch the back of your neck. Feel that cervical area. Really stretch that upper back. Good. And bring your hands down and pull your spine back up straight again. All right. Let's go back to the legs. We want to keep it even, Steven. So we're going to lift that leg, we're going to push it straight, and then we're going to try to lift the leg, keeping it totally straight. And push and stretch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then inhale to lift it back and down. Exhale. Now the standing leg, because these all exercises are standing positions also. So you've got to press that ball and heel down as if you are standing up. Inhale, push, stretch it. And one, two, keep pulling up. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale and exhale. And down. Now we're going to flex and extend it and keep the leg straight. And that also protects those knees again. Ready? Push, stretch, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, exhale down. One more time. Lift and extend. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, exhale, and down. Good. Now, let's see our hip sockets should be open, so let's bring them back. Think in here in the groin area. Use the heel of your hand and press open as you lift your chest, shoulders back, chin in, feel the vertebrae lengthening. Then exhale. Tuck the buttocks under. You're sitting on the sitting bone. Now don't sit on them. Tuck them under. And pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Work just abdominal muscles up into that navel. Just right here. Just the lower torso. 
Then inhale, sit up on the sitting bone. Pull the shoulder blades together. Try to pull the upper torso away from the lower torso as you open up the groin area. You can lift your hand. Then exhale, still keep this open, but try to tuck the buttocks. Squeeze in the gluteus maximus muscles into the anus muscle, up to the pubic bone, going up into the navel. And then inhale and sit up straight again. Now bring the hands back out to the side, and here we go with that twist again. See? No hands. The hands are just here. You can even put your hands on your shoulders. The twist is the upper torso separating from the lower torso. So it doesn't come from the shoulder. It doesn't come from the head. It comes from the area we've been stretching. That's where your twist comes from. And that's what we do when we do the side angle. You put the left hand on the inside, right hand on your hip. Now we're doing a modified side angle yoga position. So we inhale, we press open. Exhale, we twist to the right and slide down the left side. Now, as we slide down the left side, see we're stretching all in here. We salute and stretch that armpit, exhale. Then we bring the arm down and then we pull up through our center. And then we exhale and change. Inhale, press open, press down in your feet. Exhale, twist to the left. Pull the pubic on the navel, slide down on the right. Inhale, salute with the left hand. And exhale, give it a little stretch of that armpit. Feel your upper torso trying to pull out of the left side. And then bring the arm down and inhale the body up. One more set. Yep. Exhale, twist to the right, slide down the left. Inhale, salute. Exhale, stretch over there. Stay pressed open. Bring the hand down and inhale up. Exhale, change. Inhale, press open, chest up, come up out of there. Exhale, twist the waistline, slide down. Inhale, bring the arm up. Exhale, stretch that armpit. Elbow back, then bring the arm down and inhale up. And I know you can feel that stretch on your sides. Okay, still working on the spine a little bit. Turn to the side. I want you to hold on to that chair. As if you're holding on to ropes and pulling away. But not down here, up here. Keep that pelvic drop down, that gluteus maximus drop down, stay on the sitting bones, but try to come up out of that lower torso and lift that chest and push it forward. As you pull away, the arms are straightening, pulling the shoulder blades together. So you pull the shoulder blades together, and then you just stretch your chin just a little bit. So you're stretching the neckline. Then from here, you're going to let go, and you're going to come up straight and bring the head back center, neutral, and stretch those vertebrae in the back of the neck. And exhale and relax, and you're ready to take it again. So we hold on. Inhale, push away from the chair. Exhale, give it a little stretch, pull the shoulder blades together, back to the neckline. Inhale, pull that upper back, back up straight, and the crown of your head. And then exhale and relax. So that's the feeling that you want to have. That's preparation for a back bend. Upper torso lifts up out of the lower torso. And you're going to do that expansion. Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. We're going to come into the flat line first. Let's bring in the arms up. And then we're going to lift our chest, stretch our chin. Keep your arms by your ears. Stretch your chin, stretch your neckline. That's our arch. Bring the shoulder blades together. Now inhale, pull up straight. So the arms go up a little bit higher and pull up back of those vertebrae. And now I'm gonna let you exhale down. Just take that much first. Ready? Right, let's try it again. Inhale up the spine, lengthen it. Ready? Take another lift and exhale back just a little bit, stretching your neckline, lifting your chest, shoulder blades together. 
Then inhale, come up straight. And then exhale your arms down. Now we're going to take that. We're working on the sun salutation. When you come up straight, you're going to hinge forward. And then from that hinge forward, you're going to fold. Bring your chin in your chest, fold over. Then you're going to inhale and arch up. You're taking that. And then you're going to exhale and fold again. And now we're at the end. Turn the hands over and inhale up. The upper torso, lower torso is down in the chair. Come to your center and exhale to your heart. I'm trying to do my main thing. Keep, don't let my chin go up. Pull that chin back. Not down, but just back instead of lifting it. Don't, that's called cocking your head. Don't cock your head up. Keep it centered. Okay, so let's try that part. Ready? So we're going through the whole sequence now. So first part is you're just going to lift up into a straight line. Take another lift. Exhale and arch back just a little bit, the upper torso. Then inhale, come up into that flat line and hinge it forward. And then bring your chin in your chest and fold. Then inhale, arch up. Chest up, shoulder blades together. Stretch of the neck line. Exhale, stretch of the back of the neck. Then turn your hands over and lift that chest. And inhale, back up straight. Come back to the center. Relax. Now, when we're trying to get up, try to really work on not using your hands. I mean, you, at first you're going to use it, but you want to learn how to use your feet. That's why we always talk about grounding your feet into the floor and shifting your weight. This is shifting your weight. So when you bring... Instead of pushing back into your knees to get up, when you shift your weight forward like this here, you press down in your heels and you keep your knees bent. So you're pressing down into the floor. You're grounding yourself. And that's more stable. That keeps you from falling, <laughs> you know, because you're grounding yourself. Then you can use your arms to help you. We'll go into the chair pose or the chair asana. And that's this position here where we hinge forward, but we have the hands up. That's the chair position. And from that chair position, you're going to pull all the way up. And then you're just going to exhale your arms down by your side. Okay. So we're going to, on the chair position, when you take that momentum to come forward here, that's when you're going to lift that buttocks out of that chair and, and ground your heels down. Okay, to the side a little bit. Let's try to hold, we'll take each position four counts. So here's our first one. The first we inhale, we inhale, two, three, four, here we go. Exhale, two, three, four, press down. Inhale, drop the buttocks down into the heels. Push the hips forward, pull the pubic bone up into the navel, squeeze in, and then exhale the arms down. They're separate. The arms are going down, but this is squeezing into the anus, the gluteus maximus. Pubic bone is pulling up into the navel, remember? And these rectus abdominal muscles are pulling up. The knees are relaxed. The thigh muscles are pulling up because muscles go up and bones go down. Okay? Let's open and just give ourselves a little loose right quick. Just twist that waistline, just loosen up, and and I'm talking about loosening up waist because we have a lot of limps around this area here in our kidney area, right there in those intestines, right? So we loosen up those limps in that area, and it helps take some of the toxins out of that area. Relax it. Center and inhale, 
and exhale. One more time. And inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. Blessings. All right. You got any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be more than happy to answer any.